Okay, today I'm going to show you how to connect the Palmyra DM100 to your laptop. And it's fairly straightforward. Um, comes with a USB cable. So let me plug this back in and show you how to link it up. Um, okay, so when you plug it in, it's not going to register on the computer, so you have to do it manually and you're going to click menu and you're going to go to tools and PC link click on PC link and it shows up on the computer so I'm going to open it up and here are my files and as you can see it saves it as a text file and I was working on this earlier so let's open it up and it saves the formatting and so you don't have to worry about that um, as you can see the Palmera holds a lot of text um, so this is a pretty big file I was working with earlier so let's get out of that to disconnect the Palmera, you're just going to hit escape. Next you're going to click yes. And you are back into whatever you were working on. And so yeah, that's how you connect it up. All right. The next way, let me go back up here. As you can see on the left side, we have Bluetooth, QR code, and calendar. For this uh, video, I'm just going to show you these two. So let's, uh, let's click on QR code. What that's going to do is it's going to make your file, text file, into a scannable code. So I've got my iPhone with me. Uh, I've got this app called QR Reader. I don't think you can see it, but let's open it up. And let me get out of that. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to scan this in. If it will scan. If I can line it up. There it goes. And there we have it. Now it has some drawbacks to it. As you can see it says 1 through 16. So it's split up into 16 parts because this is a pretty big file. So you will have to scan each of the 16 parts. So I just clicked up and it went to the next one. This is the end. 16 out of 16. So, if you have a small piece of text, you can scan it into your phone easily. But if you have a big, a big file like an ebook or a guide, it's gonna take, it's gonna split it up. But it's just another way to scan something into your phone, so that's pretty cool. And next, we're gonna go over Bluetooth. Exit out of that. Okay, we got two things here, HID and FTP. FTP is how you upload the files to your computer by Bluetooth. Um, I believe it's not possible to transfer files into your iPhone. I, I think Apple has limited that ability because um, they don't want people transferring music between two iPhones so I don't believe this FTP option is going to work I've tried it and it didn't work if someone can get it to work then it may be right below if you have an Android I think it will upload to your Android but uh, unfortunately I don't think it's possible with the iPhone HID uh, rather than explain it I'll just show you 
searching for keyboard connection. Go over to my Bluetooth, turn that on. Sorry, it's hard to see. As you can see, maybe you can see. It says <clears throat> DM100, not paired. Click on that. And it gives you a code to type in. You can't see it very well, but it says enter the code 4936. Pairing. Keyboard connected. So what does that mean? Well, basically your Palmera is now a Bluetooth keyboard. And let me pull up a new note here. Bear with me for a second. Okay, so we've got the iPhone. I'm going to type something here and it's going to show up on the Palmera. If it'll focus. So I'm typing here and it's basically acting as a Bluetooth keyboard. So that's another option you have. It's pretty cool. I'm sorry it's not able to show up. It's kind of bright. But uh, for this video, I think it's pretty good. It's good enough. So let's get out of this. You're going to click on menu. Press enter. Okay. So th those are two ways to transfer, or actually three ways. Let me show you some other things. Uh, here are my files I had earlier, so you can create as many files as you need to. It holds a lot. Um, has the ability to search. So let's bring up the menu again. Search. So you can find something. If you have your uh, something like chapter one, chapter two, you can easily go to that. You have the tag, and that uh, that makes it easier to uh, find something. Text information. It's going to show you how big your file is. This is a pretty big file. 37,000 characters. Um, font size. You can change the font size. So if you're typing a novel or something, a rough draft, uh, you can make it easier to see. Uh, but I like the default setting. I think it's uh, the right size for me. Power management, backlight, display, language, and here's how you switch between Japanese and English. Uh, I think I covered that in the last video. And yeah, I think that's about it. Here's uh, how much space you've you've got. 123 megabytes, and I've used 164 kilobytes. So quite a bit of space, and I haven't used the expansion slot which is located on the side. You can insert uh, right here an SD card so you have the ability to upgrade your space. But anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, if you like this video, uh, feel free to ask me any questions. And yeah, so thank you.